Welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm Brian Lovett, AKA Love. Today we're talking about the rep box by Repcord. Let's get into it. So what exactly is a rep box? Well, it's this guy right behind me here. And as you'll see, it's used to hold 3D printer filament. And so in my case, I've got five rolls of filament in here loaded up. And the cool thing about this is that you can use it with something like an MMU2S where you can print multiple materials, multiple colors simultaneously on something like your Prusa Mark 3S. The other cool thing about this is you can get a seal kit for this and you can actually have it dehumidify your rolls of filament while they're being stored on the wall. And the reason that's kind of a big deal is when filament gets a decent amount of moisture built up into it, it can ruin the print quality, it can lessen the materials, ability to hold shape and to print well. I guess we should start by getting this sucker unboxed. One of these days I'll buy a knife for unboxing, but in the meantime, I like to use whatever random thing I have sitting around that I can find, in this case, a key. So in case you were ever wondering, I don't know why you would be, but a key works better than a Lego. Look at that, so many pieces. The cool thing about the rep box, besides its ability to hold multiple filament spools on your wall or wherever else, is that it also comes in multiple different colors so you can get transparent, which would be kind of cool, but I didn't know if I'd find good transparent rolls. And then I watched the video the other day by the 3D printing nerd, Joel, and he had that awesome spider uh, filament and it has these the clear filament spools on it. He was really blown away by the quality of that filament, and I was like, ah, man, if I'd have gotten a clear rep box, that'd look really neat. this is pretty simple. It's three screws that go into the wall of this angled piece of wood. The angled piece of wood simply slides onto the back of this and so at the end you just slide this down on there and you should have something that's pretty safe and secure. There we are. As you can see this thing's pretty handy. I've got mine wall mounted. You saw that wall mount at the end there and the cool thing about it is you've also got this arm so you can raise and lower this, you can hold open the door or you can just close it like so. Now all of your filament is nice and neat on the wall. You don't have to worry about it. You've got these nice grommets down here that you can pull your filament through and I think this will make a really big difference once I actually have the MMU2 hooked up to my Prusa printer. But for now, it's nice to just not have my filament spread all over the place. A couple notes about the build itself follow the directions, look it over two or three times before you actually assemble things. They've got some great videos on the website. Sometimes in the videos, my only criticism is that they go way too fast. So it's difficult to tell if you're on the right part of the step and how the parts are oriented, especially with the brackets. There's all these little brackets you have to place and you have to put nuts and screws in each one of them, sometimes washers as well. And figuring out which direction they're oriented in the videos is difficult. And so I did have a couple that I actually initially placed on wrong, and then in a later step, I realized that, undid them and redid them. The other tip I'll give you is to pre-fit everything together. Just, you get it out of the box and at least hold all of the kind of MDF panels together and get the general shape. That's gonna help you later on in the build when you're trying to figure out where all of these crazy pieces go. As always, thank you all so much. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or anything to say about this build. Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. Thank you all so much. See ya.